Well, just in time for the holidays, uh, we're looking at some of the uh, really the most iconic eats from all over the state of Indiana. Everything from those famous breaded tenderloins to sweet desserts, uh, maybe a few adult beverages as well. We've got them all laid out uh, here. And let's get right to this month's Trendiana segment. Yelp's Midwest Regional Director Brittany Smith is here with a statewide tour. Brittany is always welcome. Thanks for having me. And thank you for bringing these great uh, treats. Iconic Hoosier Eats, and especially yes. the holiday season, you can kind of, you know, use these as gifts and trades exactly. and all kinds of it's things. It's great for a host gift. It's also a great way to show your family a little bit of a taste of Indiana while they're here. All right, let's talk about iconic Hoosier Eats. You've got to begin, I think, with the sugar cream pie. <laughs> yes, right? that one is not a shocker. We had to narrow it down to two picks, though. Mm -hmm. So My Sugar Pie, located in Zionsville, mm -hmm. and now in the Greenwood Mall as well. They are known for their beautiful sugar cream pies as well as several other options that they offer. They will also ship. They've been featured on Oprah, Country Living, a beautiful business. Wix Pies is another classic. They just celebrated 75 years years last month in September donated one dollar of every pie they're from Winchester Indiana mm -hmm. patented in 1962 for that 1962. recipe. 1962. Yes, it's been wow. around strong. <laughs> Good stuff. Sugar cream pie great way to start beer uh, in Indiana craft beer and all kinds of uh, cool beer concoctions are really popping up. Pawpaw beer. Yes so pawpaw if you're not yeah. familiar with pawpaws it's a fruit it's also known as the Indiana banana and uh, Upland it is actually one of their most sought after beers. The pawpaw beer it is barrel aged sour fruited sour they are so popular for it. Now they have so many locations throughout the state that you can find it. Yeah, growing uh, business to be sure. Uh, how about persimmon pulp? Yes. Southern Indiana? Another, right? yes. Mitchell, Indiana is mm -hmm. most known for it. They actually have a festival each year for it, but you can find persimmon pulp frozen at places like Tuttle's Orchard. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you get it, you can make wonderful desserts for the holidays. Yep. Okay, we talked about uh, sugar cream pie being so popular, obviously, in the state. A close second, or maybe we'll say they're, they're tied <laughs> breaded tenderloins. Yes. Everybody thinks yes. tenderloin yeah. Indiana. And if we were to narrow it down to one iconic spot, it'd be Nick's Kitchen in Huntington, Indiana. It's a great diner vibe for it. And the beautiful thing about breaded tenderloins is you can look it up on Yelp anywhere in the state and you're probably going to find a breaded tenderloin not too far away. Very good. Okay, who knew, uh, did, you knew, of course, <laughs> that the state has a signature wine. Yes, Traminette. Traminette, right? that's right. It's a grape that grows really well in the Midwest with yeah. our cold winters. And it's also fruity and great crowd pleaser. So Traminette from Oliver Winery is one of the many examples of where you can find it and sold throughout the country as well. well and speaking of that, yes. the, the business uh, uh, there at Oliver, they, they've really been blowing Definitely. up. They, everybody sees them on 37 there down at yeah. Bloomington, but they are all over the now, country. Yeah, you can be in Texas, Ohio, and you're going to find it on the shelves. So even if you're traveling visiting family, you can find it. Yep. Uh, another business that is growing uh, in the drink uh, culture is the, the craft brewing yes. uh, uh, segment. Uh, Zombie Dust from Three Floyds, that's up in Munster in North, yes. uh, Northwest Indiana. Definitely has that cult following. And people love to do craft beer shares around the holidays, bringing stuff from different states. This one, now that they've increased the production, it's easier to find it, and now you can take it for your holidays, easier than ever. That's good. And uh, again, from a business standpoint, the craft brewing industry oh gosh, has yes. just exploded. I think Three Floyds, the number one brewer uh, yes. by volume, Sun King, number two yes. here in Indianapolis. It's really become big business yeah. for the state. It's beautiful to see even smaller towns throughout Indiana now popping up with their yes. own breweries, and what's that's even done for their main streets. It's really exciting. Brittany Smith from Yelp, as always, uh, a great tour around the state of Indiana. Yeah. Iconic Hoosier Eats. Happy Thanksgiving. Likewise, uh, Gary. Coming up next week. We'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. Well, for more uh, than two decades, Inside Indiana Business has been your uh, business news source, also a resource for the people, products, and places, as well as the issues shaping the Indiana economy. And as we continue to provide you with Indiana business news and information when you want it, where you want it, and how you want it, we want you to check out the new InsideIndianaBusiness.com. More video, more content, more ways to connect. It's all at the new InsideIndianaBusiness.com.